Hi friends, in this video we are going to see the process of posting the packing slip in sales orders in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. Also, I am going to explain you the option of how to post multiple packing slips from different sales orders from a single sales order. How we will be able to do that. So that's also we are going to see. So if you are watching this video for the first time, my name is Sriram Sivashankar and I have been posting videos constantly recording Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. If you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile. Fine. So in case of sales orders, if you go to sales and marketing or uh, account receivable orders and sales orders, you can navigate either way. But uh, in generally, the standard practice is go to sales orders and uh, click on sales orders and click on all sales orders. Now, generally, whenever a sales order is raised and it is confirmed, then the store person or the store's manager will ask to post the packing slip. Once the packing slip is posted, then they will be able to invoice the material. So in order to post the packing slip, generally the standard practice which is followed is, let's say, let's take this example of the sales order which I've already created. And then once I need to click on packing slip, so this will open by default. It is showing me the picked. I'm going to change it to all so that all the lines will be displayed. So the overview section, it shows only the sales order 1438, right? So for this, there is one line for which I need to post the packing slip. So the standard practices, I need to click on update line, click on pick. And then, so this is already reserved, but if you want to change any of the dimensions, then click on add picking line, change any of the site and values from which you want to post it. I'm also giving the location and then uh, wherever the stock is available. And then I will confirm pick call. So the status of issue is changed to picked right now. So I will save this I'll go back. And now I need to post this packing slip, right? So I will click on OK. So this is the standard process in which we need to do for each and every sales order. We need to get into the respective sales orders, select the item and then post the packing slip and then sorry pick the uh, pick the eye pick the material select the dimensions and then post the packing slip so each and every sales order i need to open and then i need to do it one four four zero four one whatever it may be but in d365 we will also be able to post the packing slip for let's say for one four three nine but while doing so i can simultaneously post the packing slip for the other sales orders let's say one four four zero four one and four two also so posting multiple packing slips from single sales order is possible. Let's see how to do that. So in order to do that, now I'm, go I'm going to open the packing slip for 1439. I click on packing slip. So inside the packing slip page, now by in the overview section, by default, it shows the 001439 sales order. But I want the other sales orders 144041 also, right? So in order to do that, click on the option select in the top, right? So this shows the query window. In the query, you can see that uh, by default, you can add the sales order or if you want any specific customer account to whom you want to post. So that is also possible. You can use this option or you can use the pool option to do the filters. The sales orders are grouped based on the pool, right? So if you have made an option of pool tagging, then you can use this filtration also. By status, open order I have taken. But in the criteria, I am going to give the sales orders like uh, whatever begins with one zero zero one four four so i want to post the i can slip for all these four sales orders along with one four three nine okay so in order to do that i need to select maybe if i want i can mul add multiple times of this particular id sorry this particular uh, sales order which contains the one four four um if I want, so if I separate those values by comma, then I will be able to take the specific uh, sales orders. 1441, 141442, and uh, comma, I can also select the pending one, which is 1443. So now I have selected the specific sales orders. If instead of selecting the specific sales orders, if I remove this and keep it as blank, then system will show me all the packing slips or from the confirmed sales orders over here so that is also possible see now uh, i have selected all these now if i click on ok in the overview section it's 
you can see that in the packing slip posting page it shows the selected sales orders right but instead even if i try to uh, instead of selecting those specific sales orders i want to post the packing slip for all the confirmed sales order then in that case if i remove this option then if i click on ok then system d365 will show me all the sales orders in the system for which the packing slip need to be posted right user can use this option also to post the packing slip. so by this option also i will be able to post so these are the pack sales orders for which the packing slip is can be posted which are confirmed and uh, which are waiting for packing slip posting so this is also possible so for all this i can complete the packing slip in single shot so now for this demo purpose i am going to do the packing slip for uh, the those filtered sales orders only so let's say i'm going to filter based on those one four four three sorry i have only deleted it so one four four zero then uh, again i am going to take the sales order one four four one so in order to make in order to make this video very clear i'm just selecting it one by one so for that three sales orders i'm going to post the packing slip immediately using this select option okay so now i click on okay so once i click on okay the overview section will contain these three sales orders packing slip for these three sales orders now using the same packing slip window instead of uh, posting the multiple sorry going into each and every sales order packing slip from the same window i'm going to post the packing slip for all these sales orders so i'm going to do the same process picking so this is already reserved if you want to make any change you can do that and uh, i'm just selecting the location and just confirming and picking the all quantity applicable and uh, similarly if you want you can select this because since i have already reserved it you can also update the reservation by going to the update reservation tab and you can update the quantity over here if required and uh, you can do that just for demo purpose i am doing it manually right now you can give the location because location is set active for this particular item so that's the reason i'm just doing it and for 1440 again i'm going to update line pick add picking line then give the location then click on confirm or pick call so i have actually picked all the lines so here also you can now filter picked so by default system will show you only the picked uh, lines from the packing slip so now we have picked successfully picked the packing slip for the three sales orders 1440 1441 and 1442 now if i click on ok d365 will automatically post the packing slip for all those three sales orders without even getting into those individual sales orders that's so from if i now in 1440 if i open the packing slip journal you can see that the number is generated 2151 and uh, a different packing slip number must have been generated maybe 2152 maybe yeah right 2152 and then uh, if i get into 1442 different packing slip might have got generated you see 2153 so using this option you will be able to post multiple packing slips from single sales order uh, which are applicable in standard and also you would be able to quickly post the packing slip and proceed for invoicing so that's it for today's video hope to see you in another interesting topic follow my profile for getting regular updates regarding microsoft dynamics 365 finance and operation thank you